Have you ever been rugged, spent hundreds of dollars on gas fees, or have been a victim of MEV or EIP 1559? Got wrecked? It happens to the best of us. One day you get rugged in a DeFi protocol hack, and then you try to make up all the money with a Uniswap trade. And then after you execute the trade, MEV and EIP 1559 have basically made you bankrupt. Evmos wants to pay it forward to the people who have been affected by negative externalities, exploits, or rugs that might have cost them significant financial stress. If you or a loved one have been wrecked, please go to gotwrecked.com and claim your airdrop. And now we can continue the program. What is Evmos? Evmos is the Ethereum virtual machine, EVM, and Cosmos combined, making the name Evmos. This is not just another Ethereum bridge. This is not just another EVM compatible chain. This is the Ethereum virtual machine on the Cosmos. In this video, we're gonna go over what is Evmos? What does the EVM part mean? And what does Cosmos bring to the table? We're gonna talk about the technology that Evmos uses and how it looks under the hood. Then we're going to talk about Evmos Hub and EVM application specific blockchains and Sevmos. After that, we're going to talk about the tokenomics model and then the highly anticipated airdrop. And then finally, why is Evmos such a significant project? So let's start. So what does the EVM part bring to Evmos? The Ethereum virtual machine is the state machine of Ethereum. These are all the rules and standard that Ethereum uses to compute smart contracts. And why is the EVM such a big deal? Well, it has the largest community of developers. It uses the most popular blockchain programming language Solidity. It has the most applications on it with the most TVL. So basically Ethereum is where the party that we call crypto is really happening. There are really only three ecosystems that don't prioritize the EVM. This is Near, Solana, and the Cosmos. But even that, Solana announced their EVM chain and Near Protocol has Aurora. So basically, the Ethereum virtual machine is everywhere and adopted by everyone. And here are some blockchains that use the EVM or are EVM compatible. You have Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Matic, Near, Phantom, Avalanche, and many more chains. Ethereum has $115 billion in TVL and other EVM compatible chains have 37 billion. The EVM market is huge and Evmos is joining in on it, but not without Cosmos. So what does the OS and Cosmos bring to Evmos? Evmos uses the Cosmos SDK, which brings Tenement and IBC. Tenement is the secure, highly scalable, fast finality proof of stake consensus engine, and it's one of the most used and trusted proof of stake algorithms out there. Used by the Cosmos Hub, Terra Luna, and many other chains, Tenement is securing billions of dollars of TVL. Another thing that the Cosmos brings to Evmos is IBC or the inter-blockchain communication protocol. This is a decentralized non-custodial bridging protocol for cross-chain transactions. So with IBC and Tenement, Evmos is going to be a ridiculously fast, scalable, and secure EVM. And it's going to be fully compatible and interoperable with Ethereum. So Evmos is leveraging Cosmos and Ethereum's technologies and ecosystems, but what does Evmos actually look like under the hood? For consensus, it's using Cosmos's Tenement. For applications, it's using Ethereum's EVM, and for interoperability, it's using IBC. So if you look at the layers of a blockchain, the application, network, and consensus, layers, at the top we're going to have the IBC module and EVM module. And in the middle and bottom layer we're going to be using Tenement. This is going to be important later on in the video. And another really cool feature of Evmos is that it is going to be the EVM for EVM app chains. Evmos can act like a hub for EVM chains on Cosmos, which means Evmos can have shared security with EVM application specific blockchains. Tharsis, the company behind Evmos, made an EVM module to attach onto Tenement, which they are the first to do so, but other people can get this module, attach it to Tenement, and make their own EVM application-specific blockchain. So Edmos can act like a hub leasing security to these EVM application-specific blockchains. This means Edmos is more scalable and it's providing more utility for its token. Another really cool EVM chain that's built using Edmos's module that Tharsis made is Sevmos. The C comes from Celestia, the EVM part comes from the Ethereum virtual machine, and the OS part comes from Cosmos, making Sevmos. And what Celestia brings to the table is data sampling and data availability. So remember the blockchain stack that I was talking about and how Tendermint took care of the network and consensus layer? So 
Rustia makes Tendermint focus on execution so then it can manage consensus and data availability. This means Sevmos is a modular blockchain bringing more scalability and decentralization. Now we can start talking about Evmos's token model. Every L1 has three main actors, the users, the developers, and the block proposers, aka the validators slash miners. Each one of these actors has an important role in the network, but typically block proposers are the one who take the most value, while the other participants in the network, specifically developers, don't get compensated fairly. So Evmos is not just a fee and staking token and actually drives economic outcome for the EVM. The goal of the token is to align economic outcomes between the users, developers, and block proposers. Token holders can vote on systems to grow Evmos's economy. So here are the systems that Evmos is implementing or could implement in the future. Paying developers and network operators for their services with a built-in shared revenue fee model, or what Evmos likes to call the DAP store. Voting on protocol upgrades, enabling pre-compiles for useful high-priority applications, a 50-50 split between the people who develop the contract and the people who actually compute it, and splitting some of the fees between the relayers and validators of the network. And all these systems by the Evmos economy can be voted on and changed by the holders of the token. Another cool feature is Evmos's gas model. It's going to be using EIP-1559, but instead of the gas fees being burned and that money effectively being gone forever, Evmos is going to redistribute that money so then it can grow its ecosystem, which is a really cool idea and I can't wait to see the implementations of these cool tokenomics. Speaking of cool tokenomics, let's talk about the airdrop because it is ridiculous. They're going to airdrop something like 40% of the supply to people who got wrecked. So who is eligible for the wrecked drop? These lists are actually pretty long, so you're gonna have to pause. We have Cosmos Hub users. We have Osmosis users. We have an ETH gas drop for all the people who use a lot of gas on these Ethereum applications. Also for these EVM bridge users. And finally, the people who have been rugged with DeFi hacks, MEV, or EIP 1559. So now that you understand what Cosmos and Ethereum bring to Evmos and how the technology looks like, what can you actually do with it? Using Solidity, you can build smart contracts on Evmos for your own dApps. But what makes this different from all the EVM and EVM compatible chains out there? Number one is that this is the vanilla EVM. This is not EVM compatible. This is the Ethereum virtual machine just built on Tendermint, which means it's proof of stake. Number two is interoperability. Because of the IDC module, this means seamless bridging and cross-chain transactions with other blockchains. This also means horizontal scalability. Number three is that Evmos has fast finality, unlike Ethereum that currently has probabilistic finality, which sucks. Number four is composability, or what I like to call copy pasta ability. Cosmos and Ethereum have huge communities. This means plenty of resource, education, documentation, code libraries, and developers. This means it's going to be way easier to code on Evmos. And finally, number five, arguably the most important factor, you're not competing with ETH L1 gas fees. So Evmos is one of the most exciting projects bringing Cosmos and Ethereum ecosystems closer. And in my opinion, I think this is gonna be a major catalyst for growth in the Cosmos and is going to make a lot of ETH maxis certainly interested. So the big final conclusion here is that I'm really excited for what Evmos has to offer. Oh well, you made it to the end. People usually don't make it to the end, according to the YouTube analytics, so uh, congratulations. I bet you learned a lot as well. I bet you like this video, because if you do like this video, you have a like button, and you should like the button. I make educational Cosmos content about its technologies and all the cool stuff on Cosmos, so if you want to, if you like Cosmos, want to learn more about it, I would consider subscribing. Some people show pump and dumps and scams, I show the subscribe button. Subscribe. Yeah, I really like Evmos. Evmos is cool. Um, this video took like 15 hours to make. A lot of like research, a lot of editing, recording, all that stuff. Um, and I'm really excited for Evmos. And uh, hit the outro.